subtropical jet stream is uh, westerlies and uh, trade winds, right? Uh, in the subtropical, this is the place of origination of a northeast trade wind as well as the westerlies. Yesterday we talked about, right? Westerlies, here then start out the subtropical, then. This is happening in the surface. The upper side, there will be some kind of jet stream is there. That jet stream we can call it as a subtropical jet stream. And the location, Ketamari, they may split it up with a polar jet stream, subtropical, and also a tropical. Tropical means convergence of both the trade winds, northeast and southeast trade wind. This, um, okay, this is the tropical. Uh, convergence of both uh, northeast and southeast trade wind. This is happening in the surface. There is an upper place, upper air circulation. That sur upper air circulation we may call it as a tropical jet stream. Okay, now these are the different type of jet streams. Polar light jet stream, something is there. What will happen? This is this polar night jet stream is it's happening in the stratosphere. Suppose the height is height of the jet stream is very high height in the if it is in the polar region, then we may call it as a polar jet stream. Sorry, polar night jet stream. Okay, normal it will be in the troposphere that we may call it as a polar jet stream. If it is troposphere, polar night jet stream. Okay, la. Through this jet stream only now, now the, some of the, uh, the chlorofluorocarbon and all we are talking about, right? This is uh, um, creating the holes in the ozone layer. Because of this, this jet stream is, uh, this jet stream is uh, flowing from the troposphere to the troposphere. What will happen? This CFC and all will be in the troposphere. What will happen? This will be taken to the troposphere. In this troposphere only the ozone layer will be there. Uh, because of this, the ozone depletion and all is happening in the troposphere this flowing in this region what will happen this has to be contact with the uh, troposphere jet stream what will happen this has the chlorofluorocarbon this chlorofluorocarbon will be in this earth surface it will be mingled with the atmospheric gases and it will go to the troposphere this is this polar night jet stream what will happen it will be contact with this layer it will be taken the CFC layer to the troposphere and the troposphere what it will do what it will do it will be uh, deplete the oceans layer in the troposphere okay some local jet stream other drink all of them you know films could be a tabi films could be a oh sorry okay sir what up from basla Okay, now we know about what is jet stream and how we, where it is flowing, you, you all know about. Now we see of the index cycle, how the jet stream is uh, originating and how it will be operating, we will see. Ah, so no, so no. Okay. Okay, I can't tell you about it. Circumpolar is polar and suthi is the circumpolar. Okay, right? It will be rotate towards the poles. That is what we call the circumpolar. Okay. The jet stream is always between the Eastalis and Vestalis. It is always between the Eastalis and Vestalis. It will be in between the, these two. What will happen? This will be the cold. This will be hot. Because this is originating in subtropical. This is originating in the polar. Okay. Now. Always the pressure gradient, how it will be? The pressure gradient, this region is high pressure. Right? This region is low pressure. The pressure gradient is northern to eastern, north-south direction. 
Pressure gradient in the north and south, okay. Pressure gradient. It will be north and south in the initial state. And now on the Anga on the high pressure in the low pressure. How it will happen? Then it will form a meandering. When it will be form a meandering? That is the question. In the winter solitage, what will happen? The pressure belt on down, it's moving towards the south. Correct la? You got it, right? In the winter solitage, what will happen? The pressure belt on down moving towards the southern hemisphere. In the summer solitage, what will happen? The pressure belt are moving the north direction. So in the summer side, this will be this will not be extended further. It will be in this area only. In the po in the winter solitage, what will happen? It will be extended towards the equator. This is only we may call it as a jet stream. Extension of circumpolar bristle is coming to the equator, then that circumpolar bristle is called as a jet stream. Okay, like equator side or no. When it will be coming to equator side? Only in the winter solitage. Because the pressure belt all the pressure beds are moving towards the Southern Hemisphere. If you have a diagram, you can see it. If you have a general equator, what will happen? Where is the doldrum? The doldrum is 5 and 5. This is the place of equatorial pressure belt. If you have a doldrum, you can see it. The Northern Hemisphere only it will be in this way. The Southern Hemisphere it will be come to the Southern. This region is subtropical. Pressure bill. This is his subpolar pressure bill. Okay. So this region is jet stream is rotating. In between, right? Subpolar and subtropical. In between, the jet stream is rotating. So jet stream is coming very near to the equator. Okay. If it is coming very near, it will form a wavy like structure. Okay. If you know, no, Adigma wave, it is chin wave, my boy. Poor boy, the debris, the poor boy. They always go like this. If you look at it, you can see the wave like structure. You can see the wave like structure. What do you do? This side is high, this side is low. This will be in the cold, this will be hot. But it will form a wave like structure. It will be extended to the equator side during the winter solitize. Winter solitize is how? It will be in December, January. It will be in January at that time. Okay, this is the second diagram. Third diagram, where do you come from? Now, again, this wave will become more. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? So, this upper side is what? How it will be? In the window, the upper side is? What is that? Window, the upper side is? Cold polar air mass. This is subtropical hot air masses, right? This is cold, okay, this is polar air masses, this is subtropical hot air masses, okay, now the pressure gradient is here, the pressure gradient is here, north and south, here it comes to east to west, this is the east and west. Here, the pressure gradient will be north and south. Pressure gradient is the rate of change of pressure. This is the pressure gradient. These lines are pressure gradients. It will be north and south, initial stage. If it will be forming very much meandering, the pressure gradients will come to the east and west. This is the east and west. This is the east and west of pressure gradient. This is the east and west of pressure gradient. In the line, just take this line. This line is cold. In the line, what is it? This line is hot. So, what is it? Hot is moving towards the pole side. Cold is moving towards the equator side. Right? This is cold. This hot is moving where? It is moving towards the pole. The cold is moving towards the equator. So, the pressure gradient is varying to the eastern to western direction. From the north to east to west. East to west, west to east, west to east. Inge vandu north to south arinchi pressure gradient. Inge pressure gradient is becoming a west east west to east. Andha mari it will be changing. Again what will happen? Again this again so much of meandering is happening. Adi last stage. 
லாஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜில் வாங்க என்ன ஆகுனா வந்து திஸ் ஜெட் ஸ்ட்ரீம் இஸ் பிரே ப்ரோக்கன் அப் வாட் இல் அப்பன் இட் இல் ப்ரோக்கன் அப் அண்ட் இட் இல் ஃபார்ம் இய சைக்ளோன் அண்ட் ஆன்டி சைக்ளோன் ப்ரோக் அப் ப்ரோக்கன் ஆகிடும் ஏன்னா மேண்டைங்க ரொம்ப அதிகமாக போயிட்டே இருந்தால் என்ன ஆகும் வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி சீன் சம் பார்த்தோம் பார்த்தீங்களா மேண்டரிங் அதாவது இந்த ரிவரில் மேண்டரிங் வி ஹவ் இஸ் சீன் இப்படி பார்க்கும்போது இப்படி மேண்டரிங் அதிகமாக அதிகமாக சம்திங் இட் ப்ரோக்கன் இட் ஃபார்ம் இ லேக் பார்த்தோம்ல அதே மாதிரி இட் இல் ஃபார்ம் இட் இல் ஃபார்ம் இ லோ ப்ரெஷர் அண்ட் ஹை ப்ரெஷர் அண்ட் இல் இட் இல் பிரேக் த மற்றதெல்லாம் வந்து ஜெட்ஸிம் வந்து இதுவாகிடும் இப்படி வந்து இப்படி வந்து இப்படி வரும்போது இது வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பிரேக்கப் ஆகி என்ன ஆகுனா Now, always the low pressure will be a anti low pressure is uh, the direction is anti clockwise high pressure is clockwise in the northern hemisphere ama low anti clockwise low is always the low is anti clockwise okay ingla high is clockwise eppadi i how they will call it an high na ipdi varudhu Suppose, if you are doing this, pressure is, this is 1022, this is 1023, this is 1024, this is 1025, this is 1026, which is very high, 1026, now we will call it as a high pressure, suppose if you are low pressure, now, how it will be, now, if you are low pressure, this is 1020, this is 1021, 1022, 1023, this is 1024, this is 1025, this is 1026, this is 1026, this is 1026, this is 1026, ஒரு 